Jim, first of all, welcome to NBAA. Give us an update on the, uh, the, the 400 because you guys recently had some certification news. We, we did. We're excited to be here this year. This is the third year that we've been here uh, touting the 400 XT. Uh, but uh, just recently, the airplane was fully certified, and uh, we're now in production on the aircraft. All right. Talk briefly about the bullet point list of improvements over the original. They're just so numerous, hard to itemize everything. But uh, suffice it to say, we completely dismantled the airplane. We replace all the life limited components, zero time the airframe, replace all the avionics. We put the new Williams latest state-of-the-art engines on it, and we do an extensive aerodynamic cleanup to make the airplane very efficient. Now, for those who are familiar with the original, and many people obviously are over the years, What kind of performance improvements and comfort improvements are we looking at? Our design goal was to take a great airplane and give it a range of 2,000 nautical miles. The existing airplane barely does 1,200 nautical miles, and that's a little bit short for those who want to go from Boston to Miami, New York to the ski country, and the airplane's kind of waned because of that. Now we have the same range or better of competitive products in its space. What does this do for the fuel efficiency of the aircraft? Because that seems to be, in the last three years, a a huge topic. We consume about two-thirds of the fuel that the original engine did, and given the aerodynamic cleanup, we're 35% more fuel efficient overall. Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFT 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne. Talk about the personality of the plane. What is it that endeared this plane to people and and made Next and Aerospace decide that this would be a good platform? Well, it was produced in a large number, and, and that says legions about how people loved the airplane. It was economical to buy. It was economical for its time to operate. It has one of the few flat floors in the light jet category, which is a lot more comfortable when you're in the airplane. It's conducive to putting divans in that allow a higher density seating, but with more legroom. It's just a very spacious, very comfortable airplane that's been very reliable, and now we've given it the performance that people demand today. I have to ask, because this is based on a, an existing airframe, how many of the original are out there, and what does the supply line look like getting them into you? There was originally uh, 606 uh, 400As, uh, 400XP aircraft built. There's about uh, 590 remaining in service. We currently own or have control over about 40 of them and we have expectations of adding another 40 in the next 12 months. Now, you mentioned that number 40. You had a contract recently for that number of them, which will use up your available supply, so you you must be working at a desk somewhere on getting more in the door. Well, we certainly are, and and you're referring to the order with flight options, the uh, fractional. That contract's over a five-year period, so the 40 that we control today, we won't use up entirely on flight options. But yes, we are uh, looking at uh, acquiring more aircraft. Nice problem to have. What is the mix of people who are looking to sell you an airframe and then a whole different person buy the remanufactured plane versus people who have one of the 400s or A's or XP's who just want to upgrade their own airplane and get it back? We buy a lot of our inventory from fleet operators who have surplus aircraft now and typically will buy them when the engines get near to the end of life. It doesn't affect our equation because we don't use the engines anyway, and so they're just surplus, so they might as well be run out. There is a growing number of people who love their 400A or 400XP, and they don't want to trade it in or give it out, uh, give it up, uh, and we're delighted to, to convert those airplanes uh, for them. The disadvantage of conversion is that they lose the use of the airplane for about four months while the conversion is going on. But the advantage is they keep the airplane they've grown to love. Okay, and in terms of the cockpit, what is the current standard avionics package and what is the upgrade? The standard package is a 3-2 Proline 21 avionics system. 
One of the options, obviously, then is the fourth tube. Other options are electronic charts, which is a Technica Class 3 EFB. We also have XM Weather, and we have a whole host of uh, cabin entertainment options. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. All right, I guess this wouldn't be complete unless I rounded it out with how much and where can I get one? Well, you can get one here today if you like. Uh, we have an airplane at McCarran that uh, is our demonstrator and it's for sale and uh, we, we expect to deliver it before the week's out. It's $4 million base price. That's for the first 10 units that we sell and then there'll be a small escalator after that. If you add every option known to mankind, it could get up to $4.5 million. If you can't put any model numbers on the answer to this next question, I will understand, but given the success you're having with how nicely this one came out, are there any other vintage rides you're looking at pimping? Uh, I wouldn't use that word, but there are, there are quality airplanes we're looking to make world class, and uh, we'll announce those in the near future. All right, well, Jim, if people want more information, I guess we can direct them to a website. You can view us on the website, www dot nextentaerospace.com or you can uh, call us on uh, the 800 number that's listed on that website. <laughs>